Hey guys, this video is one of 250 videos in my upcoming course, Game Transformation. If you'd like to know more about that and get involved in the test group that I have going on to go through the course, the link is down in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna give you the 13 ways to increase your testosterone. So what is testosterone? Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone and anabolic steroid. It plays a key role in the development of the male reproductive system, as well as secondary sex characteristics such as muscle and bone density, as well as body hair. It's involved in health and well-being such as moods, behavior, and the prevention of osteoporosis. And an insufficient amount of testosterone can lead to abnormalities in the male body, such as being a cuck. So why would you want to increase your testosterone? Well, if you're in this course, I assume that you want to have sex with more attractive women and having higher testosterone gives you several advantages over low T soy boys, such as having a deeper voice, being more confident, being more influential, being happier and hornier. Higher testosterone allows you to be more energetic. You'll attract women pheromonally more and you'll put on muscle more easily. Testosterone makes effort feel good. So you'll have more natural motivation to get shit done and accomplish your goals. So why should you listen to me on this? I increased my testosterone from 357. So you're 21? To 966. We'll put up my T scores on the... So I tripled my testosterone naturally. I didn't use TRT, I didn't use steroids, I didn't use anything like that. I've also used this protocol with some of my students and the results have been pretty great. So how do you increase your testosterone? Read more accurately, that would be how to stop decreasing your testosterone. Because most people are unknowingly harming their testosterone production in most aspects of their life. And that's mostly due to rising obesity and the increased frequency of synthetic chemicals entering the bloodstream. The unsexy truth about increasing your testosterone is that it largely comes down to diet, lifestyle and environment. Number one, decrease your body fat. The optimal body fat percentage is between 10 and 15% for men. Fat cells make a compound called aromatase, which is a key enzyme in the production of estrogen. So the fatter you are, the more aromatase you have, and the more aromatase you have, it literally takes uh, components out of testosterone to make estrogen in your body. That ultimately leads to low T. Number two, get around attractive women. Simply by being in the presence of an attractive woman, your testosterone increases. So use this course, go out to meet women, go on dates with them, and your testosterone will naturally increase. You're welcome. Number three, eliminate phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are plant-derived xenoestrogens that in your body have an estrogenic effect. So the first thing to cut out is soy. Soy flour, soy protein, and soybean oil. So when you go out, if anything's cooked in soybean oil, don't eat it. Always ask what your food's cooked in and only eat stuff that's cooked in or is using avocado oil, olive oil, butter, tallow, coconut oil, or ghee. Don't eat flax seeds, don't eat grains. That means wheat, all bread you eat. Think of it as peasant food, not for you. Huge form of phytoestrogens are found in alcohol. All alcohol decreases your testosterone. However, the worst is beer, especially IPA, because IPAs have the most hops, which is the most phytoestrogenic thing that you could possibly drink. There's no reason to ever drink, but opt for distilled spirits like vodka, gin, tequila. Choose to drink those with sparkling water. Number four, eliminate xenoestrogens and other endocrine disruptors. So hormones regulate everything in your body from reproductive processes to metabolic function. That's why it's important to pay attention to what you're consuming and how it affects your endocrine system. Xenoestrogens, like I've said before, are compounds that imitate estrogen in your body. These xenoestrogens are in everything in the modern world from conventional food practices to furniture to personal care products. They're in our air and in our soil. And it can be easy to get overwhelmed by the ubiquity of them. However, what you can do is make smart and safe choices with what you consume, what you put on your body, and how you construct your environment. And simply by buying better products from companies that refuse to use those toxic chemicals, you can limit your exposure to them. Won't the government protect you from them? Well, check out this flyer for DDT. It says, DDT is good for me. <laughs> DDT was once widely used throughout the US and other countries as an insecticide. Until 1972, it was banned by the EPA when they found that it had a strong link to developmental problems, autism, certain cancers, 
diabetes, and reproductive harm such as miscarriages. And that's in the agricultural space, which now we still use glyphosate in the US, which has been banned in Europe. And now in the personal care industry, there's only been one piece of legislation passed, and it was in the 1930s, to regulate an $80 billion a year industry. This includes products like deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, soap, detergents. Many of the chemicals in these products are known to cause cancer. They have links to neurotoxicity and they clearly disrupt your endocrine system. The EU has banned 1400 chemicals from personal care products while the US has only banned 30. And the way the system works is that these products are assumed safe until they're proven harmful. And it takes decades to prove causal harm of these chemical compounds. So it's best to err on the side of things being more natural because you don't know what you're putting into your body or the effects it will have. Some of these are called parabens and phthalates. These have been proven to shrink the size of penises, testicles, and cause reproductive harm, as well as shorten the distance between the anus and the genitals. This anogenital distance is actually used to identify a member of a species as male or female. These are in shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, so you wanna make sure that all those that you get are free of parabens and phthalates. I like Seaweed Bath Co, Avalon Organics, and Everyman Jack. I also use Myers Hand Soap, Dish Soap, Laundry Detergent, and Dishwasher Detergent. I use a paraben and phthalate-free deodorant from Arm & Hammer Essentials. Another thing to look out for would be triclosan, which is in antibacterial soaps and hand sanitizer. And by using more natural cleaning products such as Seventh Generation and Miss Myers brand, you're decreasing your exposure to glycol ethers. Plastics. You eat a credit card worth of plastic every week and you don't know about it. Microplastics are in almost everything that you consume, things you put on your skin, as well as tap water and bottled water. There are over 15 compounds in plastic that exert an estrogenic effect on the body, so you wanna be avoiding plastics as much as possible. And when you see things such as soda cans that say BPA-free lining, they still have other bisphenols such as BPS, which are equally as bad for your body. So don't get swindled by that. You want to avoid eating and drinking from plastic containers. And ideally, all your food that you buy comes in glass or wrapped in paper. And for utensils, you want to be using wood or metal. When you go out to eat, always ask if they have metal utensils or wood utensils, ceramic plates. Try to eliminate touching plastic with your food. Instead of drinking out of a plastic water bottle, you can use a glass or stainless steel water bottle. Instead of storing your food in plastic, Tupperware containers, you can use glass Tupperware containers. Instead of brushing your teeth with a plastic toothbrush, get a bamboo toothbrush with plant-based bristles. Another side note is that all cans are lined with plastic, so just don't drink out of cans. Glass bottles are the way to go. Number five, do not drink tap water. The largest settlement in US history against the public utility was won by Aaron Brockovich. It was a $330 million tap water lawsuit, where she demonstrated that with a known carcinogen, chromium-6, the utility was poisoning the residents of Hinkley, California. Two thirds of all Americans are still exposed to unsafe levels of chromium-6 through their tap water. There are an insane amount of disgusting and harmful substances, chemicals, and even bacteria in tap water such as atrazine, perchlorate, arsenic, chromium-6, lead, nitrate, pharmaceuticals, hydrogen sulfide, as well as others. So make sure you get a reverse osmosis water filter for your house. These could be under the sink or over the counter. Number six is mercury. So most mercury in the human diet comes from fish and seafood. And now seafood was probably safe to consume 200 years ago before the industrial revolution. However, seafood nowadays is laden with microplastics and mercury. And the bigger the fish is, the more mercury accumulates. So you wanna avoid tuna, swordfish, and other large fish that are higher up in the food chain. Opt to eat wild salmon or trout, and even then do so in moderation. Observe the chart here for more on that. Number seven, get rid of nonstick pans, nonstick food and beverage containers. Nonstick pans have perfluoroalkylated substances, perfluorinated chemicals, as well as Teflon, and those have been shown to affect the production of testosterone and the activation of testosterone at the level of the receptor. So cook in stainless steel or cast iron pans. These nonstick chemicals have also been found in food and beverage containers, such as pizza boxes, microwave popcorn bags, as well as your to-go coffee cup. Sorry. Number eight, eat the ancestral human diet. This is the diet that you evolved to eat. 
There's an entire nutrition video in this course about that. But for the purposes of testosterone, you need to eat more protein and cholesterol. So that comes from meat, liver, and eggs. Your body uses cholesterol to make testosterone. You should also be eating organic to reduce the amount of synthetic chemicals in your bloodstream, such as dioxin, glyphosate, and organophosphate pesticides. But just do the best you can at your budget. Number nine, supplements. The most important supplement for the human body is sunlight, which creates vitamin D3. And if you don't have access to sunlight, take a supplement. What I do is I sit out in the sun for about an hour every day. For vitamin D production, if you're fair skinned like me, you should be getting a minimum of 15 minutes of sunlight every day. And if you're darker skinned, you should be getting a minimum of 30 minutes every day. Omega-3 fish oil and zinc are also beneficial for producing testosterone. What I'm gonna experiment with this week is boron. This is an element and when it's in its mineral form, you take it and it basically frees up testosterone from SHBG. Number 10, decrease stress. Meditate for about 20 minutes a day to help you process and deal with stress better. Learn some breathing exercises. And if you get really stressed out, go for a walk or sit in the sauna. Sauna plummets your cortisol and also caffeine skyrockets your cortisol. So you should probably not be drinking coffee every day. Number 11, exercise. The most effective thing for your exercise are compound lifts and sprinting. For compound lifts, you wanna be doing squats, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, and weighted pull-ups. And sprinting, it's really good if you play sports because you have that motivation to sprint as fast as you fucking can to get the ball or get the disc if you're playing Frisbee. Number 12, get more and better sleep. We have a whole video on this, so check that out. But most of your testosterone is produced between midnight and 4 a.m. The duration and timing depends on your sleep chronotype, which of there are four. Go to the Power of When quiz to take that and see what chronotype you are. If you get five and a half hours of sleep per night, your level of testosterone is equivalent to men 20 years your senior. So you wanna be getting sufficient time as well as quality sleep. And lastly, we have number 13, semen retention. Your testosterone surges five to eight days after after ejaculation. So keep that in mind. Don't be blowing your load every 30 minutes. And a note on TRT, TRT is testosterone replacement therapy. And this is where you get exogenous testosterone injected into your butt. Most people take TRT to get to the level of testosterone that I and my mentorship students are at. However, if they just made these lifestyle changes to their diet, lifestyle, and environment, they would have that level of testosterone naturally. And they do so without the myriad side effects of consuming lots of endocrine disruptors and living an unhealthy lifestyle. TRT also decreases your body's ability to endogenously produce testosterone. Try all these natural steps first, give yourself a 90 day challenge, and then observe afterward what your levels are at, and then you can consider supplementing with TRT. And also, if you're above the age of 40, you can consider it as well as testosterone decreases with age. I don't want this to be a theory junkie session. I want you to take action on this. So what I want you to do is do a 90 day testosterone experiment where you test your testosterone today, you implement all the changes that we talked about and then you test it after 90 days to see how you've progressed. I'd also like to hear from you personally about your testosterone improvement. So post about your story in the Game Transformation group chat. How to get your testosterone tested? Well, go to a lab testing service around you such as LabCorp, Quest Diagnostics, or any lab test now. Make sure you do a blood test, not a saliva test as those are inaccurate. And the most accurate testing method for total testosterone is LCMSMS, and for free testosterone, equilibrium dialysis or equilibrium ultrafiltration. Both are far more accurate than radio amino acid. I'm looking forward to your testosterone gains, and I'll see you in that next video. Peace.